While we've seen a giant leap forward in trade digitization as a result of the pandemic accelerating digital processes, a further leap forward is not far around the corner. And as the younger generation enters the workspace, they'll create new technology drivers. They'll also bring a different mindset, new skills and vision. And most of that work will have sustainability as a core value. Let's talk now to Naeem Khan, Global Head of Trade Finance at Credit Agricole Corporate and Investment Bank, to look at the changing world of trade digitization. Uh, Mr. Khan, welcome to Cybos TV. Lovely to have you. Uh, if I might start in asking how the COVID-19 pandemic has been a booster of trade digitization. Good, thanks for having me. Um, you know, for the last 18 months, it is a sort of revolutionary in terms of the extension of the traditional trade into the digitalization trade. But what is the rationale is, is not only uh, that after uh, COVID, uh, the, the booster of uh, digitalization is, uh, is, is, is being uh, experienced, but the rationale is that there is a need to it. And I think now, uh, if you compare it pre-COVID and post-COVID era, the, it is very clear for the trade industry players that without digitalization, of this trade industry, which is a very traditional industry, we will not be able to serve our strategic clients and the market globally. So I think the the it is sort of a blessing in disguise from from from, from that point of view, that it is ultimately now uh, being fully recognized by all the key, key stakeholders that we need to uh, transform our processes, our front to back. Um, you know, uh, processes into the uh, into the the fully digitalized uh, digitalized process. Mm. Uh, and given that, how do you think the young generation can accelerate the digitization evolution that's happening in the global trade industry? Yeah, but, but, but you know, the, the and this is very interesting. The 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 for the young generation, it comes naturally to them, and I think. Uh, the uh, what we see today, I take an example straight away that we are uh, we have launched a, a project which is called Now in Kasi. Now is basically new uh, new ways of working. So in this new way of working, we have seen and we have uh, you know uh, benefited from many uh, young generation individuals who are working on this project that they are pushing the, the old system in, and to transform it into the new digital, uh, digital systems. The, uh, for, for, for us, it is, it is very important that this young generation is now pushing the old generation to, to change the way of working. And it's not only the generation, but the, but the, but the global uh, ways of working. So for us, it's uh, it is one of the key um, key um, key target, and particularly in my business line, which is the global trade, that we benefit from the young generation's uh, ideas, new uh, enthusiasm, and bringing new ways of working into the into this industry. You touch on new ways of working, this new generation, but in your opinion, what is the future of more traditional uh, paper trade with the emergence of digitization in the global trade industry? You know, uh, this, the, the, the paper and the traditional trade industry is a century old industry. I mean, people used to uh, bring their goals along with the documents and uh, uh, to countries or country across their continents. It's, that has evolved, and it has evolved gradually. But today, if we see that the, the traditional trade industry is still being followed in many, many parts of the world, and I think uh, I would not see that the, the, the traditional trade industry will go so uh, quickly uh, or, or disappear, because there are many bottlenecks in in the traditional trade industry like you you need to change your uh, your laws your legal 
local uh, local regulations you need to also have a, all the documents or the shipping documents transform into the digitalized uh, way so it will evolve but i think in 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 the in the coming couple of years uh, i would see that uh, the more and more the banks and the corporates uh, would be opting for uh, the the total uh, digitalized processes. Uh, and Mr. Khan, in terms of sustainability, Credit, Ag Credit Agricole CIB does seem to have a very strong commitment uh, to fighting climate difficulties. And indeed, I know that your colleague, Laurent Adoul, he's speaking during a Cybos panel on this very topic. So would it be fair to say that the trade finance future will be green? It's inevitable. It is certainly. I mean, and for us, uh, for the Credit Agricole Group, it's, it's, a, it's a green bank. In any case, so it is uh, for us. It is on the top of our agenda that we we bring uh, the global ESG topic to every uh, business lines of the business line of the bank. Today, if you see that the the green or the ESG market is dominated by the issuance of uh, bonds on the DCM market, basically debt capital market, because the multi multi billion of dollars or euros have been issued uh, through the bond, through Sikooks, which is the Islamic way of financing. And, and why it is so? Because today, the, it is a investors-driven market globally. For the trade, we have taken many initiatives ourselves uh, within, within uh, Credit Agricole. We are one of the pioneers in uh, arranging a CP guarantee in Asia, uh, which, is, which is totally green. We have also issued and, and signed uh, general framework agreements for uh, for issue of guarantees in in Spain and in Italy. So the for us, it is the key component of our business that would generate not only the additional revenues but also for the good uh, for the good of the community. And remember our our. Uh, our motto is uh, is that we work in the interest of the community every day. Green fits in the cent uh, have falls in the central place of this uh, motto. Well, Mr. Khan, we would love to speak to you further, but sadly, that is all the time we have for you this afternoon. Uh, that is pioneer uh, Mr. Neem Khan, global head of trade finance at Credit Agricole Corporate and Investment Bank.